Olympia Fulvia Morata in Kikaronis Paradoxa, Episode 4. Et multas sane res excusasem, quam aberem wicem huius westrae wicis etudinis, et fugere patuissem, quaquidem en cuclo paideon, optime refertis, non ne causa santica ut aiunt, immunitatis mihi esse debuisset? Olympia continues, and she says, and really, sane, in fact, I could have excused, excusasem, found excuses for many things, multas res, quam abrem, because of which, potuissem, I would have been able to escape or to flee the wicem, huius westri wicisitudinis. These three are feminine, singular, and genitive. The object of effugere is wicem. This is the third declension noun, wicis, and it has a number of meanings, as given in Lewis and Short, like event, change, interchange, encounter. I want to take it something more like encounter. I could have fled the encounter or the confrontation of this, your huius westri, wicisitudinis, your fickleness, perhaps. She's talking about how an audience perceives an oration or a letter. So there are many excuses she could have made for escaping this aspect of their fickleness. We then have qua, which is feminine singular ablative, a relative pronoun whose antecedent is wicem, so I take it. So by which encounter or such, indeed or really, quidem, refertis. I believe when I read this I said refertis, which is not correct. This is the second plural present indicative active of the irregular verb refero, which has a number of meanings like relate, report, or even sometimes to fill by which, in fact, you report or you bring back, you tell uh, very well, optime, of an encuclo paideon. This Greek word here, which is in the feminine singular and accusative, means a cycle of study or a course of studies. You can see the English word encyclopedia comes from it. So this wicem of this your fickleness, wicisitudinous, or your change of fortune, I could have fled it, that kind wickham, by which indeed you rightly relate or report, I'm struggling a little bit with refertus here, or you call it an encuclopideon, a course of study. Would this not have been, debuisset esse, would this not have been a causa sontica, that is, a, an escapable charge, or a reasonable or legitimate charge, so they call it, and this is an apology for the word Santica, which is modifying causa, in this feminine singular nominative, would this not have been for me, or been laid to me as a causa santica of immunitatis, a legitimate excuse for my immunity, that is, my privilege or my being excluded from criticism?